Hey, what's up? Do you want to play your PPSSPP games with any controller? Or are you having issues using your controller to play PPSSPP games? Well, in this video, I will try my best to help you with that. So firstly, you should know, any controller can do this, whether a generic gamepad or an Xbox controller, any controller at all is supported for this. The only issue you might have if your controller does not work is that it is either not plugged in appropriately or it just does not work at all, or maybe your computer does not detect your controller. Try using another USB port provided in your computer. So let's get started. Once you have booted up your PPSSPP emulator, you want to make sure your PC detects your controller. Now press your Windows key and type in the word controller. Now you should see this menu that shows every gamepad connected to your computer. Click on properties and make sure your computer is detecting the input commands from the controller and also make sure your analog works correctly. Now that you verified that, navigate to the settings menu in the PPSSPP emulator, then click on the controls option on the top left. For analog users like me, go to calibrate analog stick option. Now move your left analog stick and make sure the input being received is correct. If it is not correct, come to our Discord community and ask for help, I will be there to support you. Now go to the control mapping section. Alright listen carefully, there are three methods to go about this, we will go the for the easiest method first. Just come here and click auto configure and then select your controller in the pop-up menu. This will automatically configure your controller mapping to match the PSP controls. This should work for original controllers like Spox and DualShock users. But for us generic USB gamepad users, the second method will work for us. Now click on show PSP and this user interface will be provided for us to map our keys. Now start by clicking on any button on the PSP on your screen and match it with your desired controls on your controller. This shouldn't be hard guys, but if you find this hard, I don't know how you installed this software at first. Now after that, we will move to the third method which should be the most difficult but easy method. Now you will come here and map every key specifically which is almost like the last method but no user interface. This is just buttons of the PSP and you will manually map every useful key to your controller guys. And make sure you don't have double inputs for a particular key unless they will conflict while in the game. I hope this video was helpful to you, if it was kindly mash the subscribe button and like this video so this video will be recommended to people who need it. If you are finding it difficult to get PSP games, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video my lovely viewers. Peace out. Check out the video on the left to optimize your PSP emulator for best performance and less lags.